the urine there will be passage of clots in the Hello everyone. We would be talking about the implications of passing blood in urine or RBC in urine. Normally, the purpose of urine is to excrete the poisonous waste product of body and to conserve blood and protein. But if protein and RBC are leaking through the urine, then it is considered as abnormal. Now, there are various implications of RBC in urine. If there is simple trauma anywhere in the urinary tract, then there will be blood in the urine and treatment will be targeted towards repair of that injurious area. If there is some stone in the urinary tract, then that can be responsible for passing of blood in the urine. But if there is a bad disease such as tumor or cancer, even that can lead to blood in the urine. So these conditions which are because of some urological abnormality are best treated by urologists and they are known as urological bleeding. So what are the characteristics of urological bleeding? Normally these bleedings are associated with some pain at times and blood will be not mixed wholly with the urine there will be passage of clots in the urine. Now these conditions indicate that probably the blood is urological in origin coming from the urinary tract and they are best treated by urologists. But sometimes the blood is coming right from the renal filter, the glomerulus. If glomerulus is damaged, then sometimes RBC starts leaking and there are various glomerular conditions such as IgA nephropathy, focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, vasculitis, crescentic glomerulonephritis. In these conditions, RBC and protein starts leaking from the glomerulus. And there is a syndrome called nephritic syndrome. And in this syndrome, there is presence of protein in urine, presence of RBC urine, there is hypertension, and there is rise of urea and creatinine. The importance of diagnosing such conditions is that if you are able to diagnose them early by doing kidney biopsy or other appropriate tests, then it is possible to cure such conditions or to start a specific management protocols. So these glomerular bleedings are normally called nephrological bleeding and they are characterized by the fact that the whole of the urine is dark brown or reddish in color and it is not associated with clots and if you look at the urine through microscope the surface of RBC is damaged while it passes through the glomerulus and is crenated. So the glomerular bleed will be having crenated RBC and it will be also associated with other conditions such as protein in urine whereas urological bleed will be having fresh RBC whose surface is not coronated. So what I'm trying to suggest is that if there is urine, blood or if there is RBC in the urine, then the causes of this blood in the urine could be as simple as simple trauma, simple infection, simple stone or it could be also because of inflammation of the glomerulus called glomerulonephritis or it could be even because of bad conditions such as renal tumor. So do not ignore symptoms of hematuria or blood in the urine. Rather take help of a good nephrologist and try to make a specific diagnosis about the reason behind RBC and based on the specific diagnosis appropriate treatment can be executed. Thank you.